Happy Friday, everybody. How y'all doing? It's Hitman23, and I'm doing a video tonight on these very special products that we get in our, um, our Walgreens called Fairfield Repacks. We know how fun these bad boys are. So, uh, well, you know, all kidding aside, um, I actually really enjoy busting these bad boys. And um, there's a reason. There's a reason why. There's a method to this. the madness that's up in this brain here. Um... A, they're, they're inexpensive. I mean, they're what they are. They're like $4.99, 5 bucks a pack. You get 100 cards in there and um, a pack of cards. Again, all from the, I don't want to use the term JW, but um, over, you know, the overproduction era, um, 80s, 90s stuff, a lot of stuff. But what I like about these is, again, this, this product here, the... Uh, the Fairfield box actually helps me out in a lot of my PCs. Um, I find a lot of my PC cards in here in terms of my, my weird, wacky, uh, special PCs, my special PCs, uh, my player PCs. There's always good player PCs in here too. So um, for really an inexpensive investment, it's like, you know, a dime box in your, in your, in your drugstore. The cards, you know, what do they average out to be about 15 cents a piece not even it's whatever 100 divided by five whatever the mail is not even not even 15 cents a piece and uh, it's just fun it's fun uh, a lot of stuff goes into the donation box a lot of stuff goes into the care packages and then a lot of stuff goes into the pc so i'm going to actually start and shut my mouth so i got the i opened the first one off camera i didn't look at the cards yet but here's a stack of cards like i said you get 100 cards plus a pack uh the pack i'm just going to go straight to the pack here i think this is uh i got an 88 fleer pack so We'll do that last. Uh, first card off the top, we got a 2019 Jose Ramirez. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna point out what PCs the cards go into when I when I show the card. So um, I PC tons of players. Um, you can kind of see back here, uh, right over here, as I got a, a ton of binders of just players in them. So this this would go either in my set, which I already have it in my set. Or my PC binder. So there's a PC card. We've got one. All right, the next card, um, just a 1981 Cleveland Indians team card. Doesn't go anywhere. Just into the side pile. I got a Tom Brookins card. Now, this is a, you know, just a common 88 tops. But what's so special about this card? He's in the dugout. That's one of my PCs, dugout PCs. So there we go. That's going to go in the PC pile. Then we got a Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter. Again, PC. Hall of Famer in the pile. Ron Renicky. Nothing there. 88 tops, Ron Renicky. Um, yeah, nothing I can really find on that card that I would I would put in any kind of PC, but there we go. I just want to give you the, the little method to my madness. Um, Norm Charlton. Um, this is gonna go in my um, my set, because I'm building this the, the 90, this is 91, right? Yeah, 91 um Stadium Club. So what I'm kind of doing too is an, another one of my multitude of side projects is I'm trying to put together sets of, um, you know, first year sets. So this is the first year for Stadium Club. So I'm just slowly putting this set together. Now I'm doing, you know, Fleer Ultra, um, Leaf, you know, all the sets, like first year sets I'm trying to, I'm trying to collect. So that'll go in that pile. So that's a keeper. Then we got a Whitey Herzog. Um, he's a Hall of Fame manager, so we'll put that in that pile. We got a Benito Santiago All-Star card from 88 Tops. He's in my binder, so he goes in the save pile. Here's a Yankee card. That goes in the save pile. So you see what I'm saying here? Oh, this is a nice one. You get some really cool stuff in these, you know? Look at this, 91 Stadium Club Bo Jackson. How awesome is that card? I've actually never seen that card before. And how, it's just, that is awesome. That's a really cool card. Again, I PC bow, so goes in the PC pile. Another one, Mookie Wilson. Great name, Mookie Wilson. I have him in my funny names book, so he goes in the PC pile. Jeff Russell, 91 Stadium Club. Again, we're, we're, we're rolling here, we're rolling. Yvonne Calderon, 91 Stadium Club. Boom. Lloyd McClendon. Oh, look at that one now. Look at that one. Now that goes in kind of two, you know, it's a two PC thing. It's the set 
And it's the batting cage, because you can see right there, he's in the batting cage. So that goes in the batting cage PC. Then we've got a, an A's card. So again, set and A's team binder. So I'm, cook, I'm cooking here, man. I've only had two cards so far out of this, this pile of cards that I don't need to keep. Kurt Wilkerson, 85 tops. Look what he's in. He's in the, in the old uh, batting cage. Uh, then we got the checklist. So that goes in that pile, the keeper pile. Mark Kupasa, 88 tops. No, no need for that one. So that'll go in that pile. Joaquin Andujar, 85 tops. Um, I'm actually building another 85 top set. So that'll go in the keeper pile. Uh, Dennis Cook, he can go into two PCs. He can go into the set. And he can go into the food PC because his name is Cook, so he's got to go in the food name PC. Right? Right? John Cerruti. That goes in the Italian player's PC. I mean, see what I'm saying here? Look at how much fun you can have with not spending a ton of money. Glenn Davis. What's that there? Ball in the air. Or ball in frame. And that can get pretty uh, double entendre, but that's a keeper. And we got Mike Boddicker, keeper. Guy Hoffman, shout out to Jason Zombie Collector, JY Sports Guy, and Christopher Hazen, big Red fans. There's a Mariner, Lee Guterman, prior to him being on the Yankees. So that'll go over there. Tim Tuffle, Mets. Shout out to Andrew Mazza and family. Bobby O, squatting down. That goes in that pile, the keeper pile. We got a Yankee, 94 tops. That goes in the Yankee PC pile. So I'm just, just left and right here, man. Left and right. I'm just getting card after card after card that I can find a use for. 91 tops. I need some of those. Um, almost complete that set, so I might have to take a look at that one, see if I need it for the set. Gary Reedus, 86 tops. Again, building another set of that. Uh, Don Ossie. Yeah, it might be a Bob Lewis card. I don't know. They get that goofy grin. I'm going to put that aside for Bob Lewis. Look like at Yankee Hotbox. 95 tops. Jimmy Key. Here we go. And then we got a reprint. This is from the... Um, this is the old archives now. Um, before they had the archives we know of today, this is they did a the, they did like a fifty three reprint set, they did a fifty four reprint set, and that's the fifty four reprint of Vern Stevens. So I like that card. We'll keep that in the keeper. Uh, Greg McMichael, ball in the air. Now I'm almost complete the ninety five top set. Don't know if I need that card, but I'll put it aside. And if I don't need it in the set, we get it in that PC. So you see can find a lot of stuff here. And then we got Danny Bautista. Again, I'm going to put that aside to make sure I don't need it in the set. Ooh, look at this one. We got some We got some vintage 77 tops Andy Hassler. So that's just, a, you know, we put that there in the keeper. Here's another one of these. Cal Hogue from the Pittsburgh Bob Lewis's. Another one of those reprint cards. Matt Williams, PC. Bazooka. This is out of 96 Bazooka. I really like the Bazooka cards that Topps did in the um, in the mid-90s. They're kind of nice. So that one's cool. I don't have that one. I know that for a fact. And another Yankee. This is out of Stadium Club. This is a 1998 Stadium Club. So I know I don't have that one. So again, Yankee Hotbox. Bill Pulsifer in that smashing 90s button-down shirt. Woo! This guy was hot. He was a hot prospect for the Mets. I remember him. It was Bill Pulsifer. It was Jason Isringhausen. And I forgot the third guy. It doesn't my, my brain is shut down. It was a tall right-handed pitcher. They were like the big three for the Mets that really never panned out. Isringhausen went off the Mets and you know did pretty well with other teams. But Pulsifer had an okay career. But I forget the third guy's name. But they were like touted as like the next big thing for the Mets. Never really panned out for him, though. But that's, I think, going to go in the Bob Lewis pile, too. Look, I mean, how, how can you not, like... Look at that. That's just too cool. 83 top Storm Davis. 
We're going to put that in the keeper pile. We're going to put the 83 tops Buddy Bell in the keeper pile. And we're going to keep the 83 tops Jeffrey Leonard. The flap. The flap. Remember the flap? Or not the flap down when he hit a home run? He would like run around with his hand like limp wristed. I don't know. All right. Ken Clay, Yankee. Yankee PC, 1978 tops. A little off center, but eh, what the heck. Uh, we got a John Olerud's 97 tops. IPC John. He's in my binder. He gets a binder spot. Andre Robertson, 83 tops. There we go. Jesse Barfield, 83 tops. There we go. I have a nice little... Um, I don't PC Jesse Barfield, but I, I really like the... Um, the Blue Jays outfield in the 80s, they had one of the best outfields in baseball. They had, uh, what, George Bell in left. They had Jesse Barfield in right. And they had Lloyd Mosby in center. So I have all of their cards from the three main companies, you know, Dunrush, Fleer, and Tops in a little couple of binder pages. So I need to see if I need that one. Um, so, yeah, more than half the cards so far I'm keeping. Real Cormier, I'm not doing this set of... Um, of um, Stadium Club. This is the 92 set, so I'm not doing that set, so that'll go in the uh, other pile. There's a Oakland Day, so that'll st it's stay pile, stay pile. John Felsky, 87 tops. I'm going to build as many 87 top sets as I can. I'm going to super collect the 87 tops, make thousands of sets of them. I'm just going to hoard them, so I'm going to keep that one. And then we got the, these uh, these um, Fairfield packs are very famous for these uh, 16 tops uh, Kansas City Royals team sets. They're you're guaranteed to get one of these in every one of those boxes. So just so you know. And we got this Ryan McMahon rookie card from Bowman. This is uh, 2018 Bowman. I gotta see if I need that one for the set. It looks like we got a, um, oh, this is a nice one, 2018 Allen and Ginter, Roberto Clemente. Very nice. So you see, guys, it's not so bad. Not so bad. 87 tops, Rob. Will Fong. Keeper. Lee Lacey. In the cage. In the cage. Keeper. We got Tony Clark. Um, right there. That's a Donruss from what year is this? This is a 97 Donruss. That goes in the side pile. We got a Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Goes in the keeper pile. Doug Desenzo, 89 tops. That goes in the goodwill pile. Alex Gervino from the Houston Asterix. Joe Carter. The Phillies fans' favorite player, 96 tops. Keeper. Terry Clark. Goodwill. All right, again, call me Cray Cray, 93 Donruss. I actually really like the 93 Donruss set. I really like the 93 sets. If you look at them across the board, um, again, nothing earth-shattering, but if you look at them as a collective... I think all of the designs in 93 are really nice designs. Um, of course, led by 93 Upper Deck. And um, these are very, kind of a similar-ish look to the Upper Deck, but, you know, Upper Deck blows it away. But I still like this design. So um, this is after a few years of Donruss making some pretty crappy designs. You know, those early 90s just, ugh. So that goes in my 93 Donruss. And we got another one here, David Weathers. David Valley. Now that's a good one. Here's a here's a. So what's cool about this one is it's a 93 Donruss. Don't know if I need it in the set, but if I have it in the set, I get to put this in my catcher's binder. Because look, he's in his catcher's gear. That's pretty nice. And also, look, it's got the umpire. I'm also thinking about doing an umpire PC. If there's an umpire in a card, I might I might start an umpire PC. You gotta have fun with the cards. It's like an art project. Here we go. Mickey Tettleton, 93 tops. Catcher gear. I've got that complete set, so that gets a keeper. Goes in the catcher's book. And then here's a Roger McDowell. I already have that one. I have the complete set of the upper deck from 93. Fantastic. Um, that'll go to the side. That's a quirky card. So I'm going to put that in the quirky card pile. Okay, Braves. Gerald Perry. That'll go into the 
donation slash care package pile. Here's a 93 Jose Mesa keeper. The Phillies leaders from 88 tops. Ah, that's a sweet one. This is a 96 upper deck Omar Vizcal, and this is awesome. Um, I do have a space in my binders for Mr. Vizcal. Um, he's a borderline Hall of Famer, but um, in the air right here, that would that would hit that PC. So if I have this in my Omar, already in my Omar pages, I would put this one in my in the air uh, PC because he is fully in the air. So that would count for my PC there. So that's a cool one. That's a great action shot. So there we go there. And we got the beautiful 1990 score Barry Jones. Enough said about that. We got some 91 Bob Welch's Grape Soda. Rest in peace, Bob Welch. But again, it's an A. And it's a 91 tops. And I got to check if I need it for the set. 1992 Brian Hickerson. Now look at the back of this card here. You're saying, what, what's so special about that card? So, another PC I have is Wrigley Ivy PC. And look what's there. Wrigley Ivy. Keeper. Tim Belcher. Guess where that goes. If it doesn't fit in my set because it's an 89 upper deck, and I am putting together that set because it's the first year of upper deck. If I already have that, this goes in the food binder because what do you do after you eat? You belch. So Tim Belcher goes into food PC. Candy Maldonado, food PC. Sean Abner. That goes over here in this pile. Steve Olin. That goes in the donation pile. George Hendrick. 88 score, first year. So I gotta check if I need that one for the set. Shane Andrews. All right, this goes into PC. What PC might that go in, you may ask yourself. I may have mentioned it before, but that is a bat barrel PC. So any cards of guys that are kind of like looking down the barrel of the bat, looking down the barrel of a gun, son of a gun, right there, that goes in that PC. So that's a keeper. William Brennan, Dodgers, 89 Donruss. That's going to go on the side pile. Jose Okendo, that goes in the side pile. Dave LaPointe, Yankee, that goes in the keeper pile. Jeffrey Leonard, oh boy, it's a freaking batting cage. That sounded like um, Paul Bearer, didn't it? Kind of creepy. Hey, there we go, Tops Total, Rocco Baldelli, the Italian guy, goes in the Italian PC. Eric Hinsky, this is a 2005 Topps Eric Hinsky. I actually don't own this. Um, I have a bunch of the factory sets from the 2000s, early 2000s. I don't have the 2005, so I'm just building it by uh, card by card. So that's a keeper. Greg Brock. Shout out to Think Blue 77. Pepino Man and Cheese Mikey. Dodgers, 86 Topps. I'm going to put that aside for my uh, 86 top set. Ryan Klesko, top stadium club. This is a uh, 97. Um, not keeping that for any specific reason, but I'll go into the possible PC pile. Jack Doherty, 90 tops to the side. Austin Mocker, 87. Keeper. Gidry, Yankee, 87 tops. Keeper. Lee Guterman. 87 tops. Keeper. Got to build those sets, guys. Build, build those sets. Ron Hassey. It's an A, and he's in his catcher's uniform. Keeper. Chuck Finley. Keeper. I'm actually just slowly putting these upper deck sets together, so I keep those. Pete O'Brien. Got to see if we need him. Yankee. Roberto Kelly. Keeper. Greg Swindell. 89. Donruss. Not a Keeper. Glen Allen Hill, 97 tops. Now look at this one closely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this one closer to the camera here. Do you see what's in his hand right there? That is a piece of a bat. That is not a whole bat. That is a broken bat. And guess what Hitman has? A broken bat PC. Keeper. Scott Ruskin, 92 
top, goes to the side. Now this is, this is interesting. 86 Fleer Phil Garner. I assume that's his signature. That's interesting. All right. I, yeah, okay. Uh, an autographed IP autograph card in here. That's, I've never seen that before. If that's his autograph. I don't know. Could have been, it could have been Joe Schmo on there. I don't know, but that's an interesting one, guys. That's weird. Then we got a 90 Fleer Mike Fitzgerald. And last but not least, oh, look at this one. SP Authentic 98. We got Kenny Rogers in an A's uniform. And his name is Kenny Rogers, like after the chicken restaurant, like after the country singer. That goes in the funny names PC. So Kenny Rogers, that's for the loose cards, all right? So out of the loose cards, I'm only discarding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24 cards go into the non-keep pile. The rest, I have space for my collection. So now we're just gonna open this 88 Fleer real quick. See what we get in here. We get the Pittsburgh Bob Lewis's. We get Albert Hall. What's he next to? The burning cage. We're gonna keep it. Terry Kennedy. Shout out to Wesker Griff. That goes to the side. Mike Scott. Goes to the side. Oh, Alvin Davis in the dugout. That's a keeper. We got the dugout collection. We got the old checklist. We love those, right? Scott Lusader. Mm. Funny grin, but goes to the side. Chuck Finley. He's next to the duct taped thing on the wall in the dugout. I'm assuming that's a dugout. Could be the bullpen, but it's a dugout card, so that goes in the dugout pile. Pete and Cavilia. That goes in the Italian players pile. Dave Dravecki. That goes in the side pile. Bill Buckner. I have the Bill Buckner PC. How can, you, how can you not love Bill Buckner? You gotta love Bill Buckner. Keeper. Andy Hawkins. Bye-bye. Rich Gedman. Look at that. Catcher. Keeper. Sid Fernandez. That's gonna go to the side. He'll go to somebody who likes the Mets. Rick Roden, Yankees, keeper. And last but not least, we got a Keith Hernandez and Dale Murphy. Shout out to the Murph 398, your boy right here. And we got Keith right here, the, that most famous, the most famousest Seinfeld character ever. There we go, guys, keeper. So out of those 100 plus cards, most of them are keepers. So. You can have fun with these. You got, you know, keep it light, keep it fun. Um, there's always something to find on a baseball card that's cool. All right, guys. So that's it. I do have another box. I'm not going to painstakingly go through the second box because you kind of get the idea. And um, I don't want to bore you too much. It's been a long video. And I appreciate it if you watch this whole thing. Guys, have a great weekend. I'm actually going to a show tomorrow in Palmetto. And I'm meeting up with Mr. Fisher Bike. And somebody else, and I can't remember who it was, one of his buddies, I forgive me, I forget, tomorrow, uh, I'm sure we'll be doing a video, um, I don't know if we'll be coming live, I can't go live on my phone, um, I don't have the enough subs yet, so whatever, maybe we can go live Mr. Fisherbike or something, but we'll definitely be videos coming out, look for them, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, and may the cardboard God shine down upon each and every one of you.